So Jordan, uh, start with Spencer Sanders. You faced him often over the years. So what does he do? Who, what do you have to do to slow him down? Well, I mean, the best thing he does is throw on the run. Um, he's always been really good at finding <clears throat> finding his targets on the run. Um, and um, he's really, really, he's one of the most elusive guys we've played. He knows how to, um, kind of like a running back, he knows how to set his runs up in space, create angles. Um, and it's usually just enough to get a first down off of the scramble. It's probably what he does better than anything. They haven't been as effective offensively the last four games as they were earlier. And I know he's been hurt. Can you can you see that on film when you watch that he's struggling, or what do you see? I uh, mean, I think it's – I don't know if it's – yeah, you can see it a, a little bit, especially in the, in the OU game. Um, you know, not that it's, it's – a. I think it's a number of things. Um, you know, I think it's, it's once you – are playing that well into the season. You have to you have to, to take some time off. Maybe it's a rhythm issue. Um, you know, I think it's a communication issue a little bit with receivers, at least in the Oklahoma game that, that shows up on film. Um, some of those, not necessarily just um, blatantly bad throws or, or, or <clears throat> not, not throwing the ball uh, effectively. I think it was, from what I could see, just some communication, which, again, comes with get going in and out of rhythm. Uh, when you're a little bit beat up, but um, you know, but he's still those same plays I was talking about in your first question. Uh, he still made some of those, so it's still a, it's still there. Biggest difference, explosives from them this year than maybe years in the past. I mean, you look at their yards per carry average down, not as many explosive plays in the passing game. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not as uh, haven't been. Um, you know the. Um, you know, they're not as not as don't they're not using the tight ends um, the same way, um, and then like I said, you know him. I think most of those statistics that you see um, go back to to Spencer. You know a lot of those rushing yards in the past have come from him creating things. Um, you know you go back the last two years I and mean, they've been as good uh, in twenty and 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 twenty one at running back as as anybody in our league has this year and any year before. So. Um, you know the the Warren kid is. I think I saw. Um, he was he was pushing and uh, or p pushing for a lot of playing time up, up for the Steelers. So um, he was a really really good player. Do you like this Thanksgiving week? They just you know just football all the time, and then obviously a little time with family, getting a, a dinner with the players. Do you like this that you can sort of? Yeah, I mean it's it? it's it's essentially uh, very similar to a to a bowl week, you know, kind of kind of prep. Um, you don't have really a whole lot going on other than just football. Get some time, uh, family, time with your guys uh, that you normally don't get when they're in the grind of class and things like that. So, yeah, it's a fun week. Now that you've watched the film, what, what were the issues uh, against Kansas State? I mean, number one, we just didn't play well. Um, you know, number two, um, if, you, if you just go through the plays there, the first, first quarter and a half that really hurt, um, you know, we've, we've talked about pressure, and y'all you know, have heard me say feast or famine. Um, when when you when you when you zero blitz or you, you pressure against a run team, and you know one of those plays, you know they had us. It was just they just had us. Um, you know the the um, the other one, we didn't play very well um, in that particular call, um, and then the two, I, you know, the two long pass plays. Um, those are things that we've had in our defense the entire time. Their spring day one install um, against that personnel. One of them we actually had worked the entire off season because it's the same set of plays that Oklahoma um, ran in the two minute drill last year with two tight ends, and we worked that a bunch. Why we um, why we didn't play it right in the game? I, you know, I can't. I don't know. Um, then we had you know Ruffin had a really good pick. Um, but he could have, you know, had two more go through his hands. One was a touchdown uh, to the tight end. Um, so, you know, and, and and a whole bunch of reasons like it, that I could say, and nobody cares about. We 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 didn't we didn't play that well, especially for first quarter and a half. 
you know, after that, we settled in, thought we did some good things. If I look at Deuce Vaughn's numbers, if you'd have given me that at, at the beginning of the week, I'd have taken it. We talked a lot this season about, and with Neil as well, on how the practice looks throughout the season. And maybe there were a couple games he said where he thought the team practiced really, really well and got surprised when the game unfolded. They didn't start well. For you, how do you look back in retrospect and think your defense practiced throughout the week? In terms of entering this game, was it one of those where you thought you were going to have a great performance and it just didn't happen? Or yeah, I mean, I you know, if I go back um, to the last you know couple of weeks, you know, you perform. I mean, you you prepare, you practice, you perform. All right, and for those last couple of weeks, especially last week, I thought the preparation was really good with our kids. I thought our practice was really good, but really, the only thing that matters at the end of the week is sixty minutes that you perform. Um, and you know you never know um, what what why you come out the way that you do when you're hot or why that you come out the way to do when you're cold. I mean, if, if anybody's got that answer with 18, 19, 20 year old kids, you you got some you got some magic. You need to bottle it up if you got if you got the answer to that. But um, you know we just we just didn't. Have you ever coached a team or a game, let's say, where you had a big differential? about the way they played between your front and your secondary. I mean, it looked like your front played really good and the secondary, I mean, you know, they, for, half, for half the game, they well, there's, Yeah, there's, I mean, I have, and there's only so much one one piece can do. Um, you know, you talk about, you know, talk about pressure has been pretty good to us the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, sometimes you, you, you get into a, a cycle where um, essentially, that you can rob Peter to pay Paul, um, and you just, you know, at the bottom line is everybody, in any unit, you have to play well all together, um, and we just we didn't do it. Raleigh Collins, he's played four games. Is that a decision you guys gonna redshirt him? Or? That's 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 a question for Neil. Okay. You know, he makes all those. Jordan, when they they got you on a play, uh, I'm guessing you're talking about the touchdown run, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looked like you guys doing the sidelines something was wrong. Yeah. I, you only get three timeouts. I understand that. Um, what's the the conflict like for a coach of trying to get everybody situated quickly? Do I call a timeout? Do I just cross my fingers? How do you run through that? <clears throat> well, and and again, that's probably a better question for Neil. But um, as far as how the timeouts usage, um, but that particular play. Um, you know, the first touchdown was something that we we underplayed, overplayed by probably a foot. Um, but the second one was the one I was talking about where where they where they had us. It was, it was you know, it's a good offense play versus a a defense play. This not a, not a very good call for that. Now the situation on that is off of a long play tempo, all right. And you're trying to do, um, you know, you, there's there's two ways you play tempo. You can just get lined up and try to keep everything in front of you which works sometimes, doesn't work. Or you can try to pressure to try to get the snowball stopped, right? And that's what we were trying to do. Um, and, you know, essentially what happened was a motion come across and a guy that's, 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 that's tracking that man on the motion got behind the play, which is his man is his run fit. He got behind the play, he missed the tackle by a half a yard. And the problem is, is when you're in that structure of, of, of a blitz, there's, there's no, um, you know, like I said, you're, you're, you're gambling. It's feast or famine. Um, so there's no backstop to it. Uh, you just hope that the blitz gets it down. When it don't, you know, it's kind of hold on. Uh, and that was the case right there. You know, it wasn't, wasn't necessarily a, a situation where, hey, we knew we were in a bad call. We needed a timeout. Um, it was a tempo. That was, what, that was our tempo plan going into the week. If we thought we needed it to get the ball down, give them a moment of pause. And, you know, that's, that's the – when you live in the blitz world, that's the nature of what, you know, sometimes that happens. Was that when they were in trips to the field and they ran backside? Mm -hmm. that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all, I mean, it very simply runs away right. from the defender. If he, you know, if he doesn't trigger on the motion right now and he gets behind it, it's, it's, a, it's a tough play. Last play of the season, I mean, no, I'm sorry, last game of the season, whether it's a bowl game or this one, is there a finality when you, you're talking to the seniors? Does it? Does it feel different than other games? You know, it for me personally, it does with this group. Um, 
you know, and Dante Stills, Taj Olson, Extra Low, um, you know, and I, I'm, I'm, you know, Bryce, Sam, a lot of those guys, and I'm, I'm not naming everybody. Um, just in their tenure here, that you know, kids have been through a lot. Really have been through a lot of things, and not very many of them easy. Um, if you look at COVID and you look at, you know, <clears throat> all, all the other things, and then and quite honestly, they don't they didn't have to be here, and they and they are, and I'm very appreciative of it. A year ago, in this fight, you were playing for bowl eligibility at Kansas. How much different is it this week around, and is it tougher to find motivation? Well, I mean. You know, yeah, no. Um, I think every 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 one of these kids, coaches, want to have some type of postseason opportunity. Um, but you got 12 games to get that done, and 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 we didn't. You know, I think the number one uh, important thing, and and you know, for me and to the message to the guys is is anybody that's you know I just mentioned those guys. Anybody that's trying to to start the next page of their career, um, the next their next part of their life. You know, when they start something, they want to end it po on a positive note. Um, and then for the young guys coming back, you want to carry that. Mo you know, any 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 win, bowl, end of season, it doesn't matter. Um, that's momentum you carry um, into next year. So it, there's a lot to play for, you know. And 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 you know, our guys are competitive. Um, you know, they they want to win no matter what the situation is. Uh, it's not like nobody's not trying to win or not trying to play well. Um, so. You know, I think our guys, you know, they got a little bounce to them. Did they did Sunday when we come in, and so, you know, get three good days of prep, finish it off Friday, and get on a plane, and go play. Without, a, without bowl practices and all the development opportunities for young players, do you do anything different this week to maybe give guys more practice time or get guys in the game <clears throat> because there's no tomorrow for this season, right? Now. Right. Well, yeah, you do, but we we um, we've done a lot more uh, developmental work during the practice week this year. Um, now the time frame is shorter, whether it's 10 minutes of of um, offensive line, defensive line work with seven on seven on the other end so that you're not beating and banging them um, a bunch. But then we've done a lot more of, of you know, 10 minute segments of team, you know, whether it be on Tuesday or Wednesday um, with those, with that developmental um, group than we ever have. So um, with the time that you that you lose in bowl prep, I think we've, we've, we've done a lot of that this fall. Um, trying to prepare for next spring. So, and there's, you know, some guys out there that have have some bright futures. Do they get a chance to speak just, just because? If they have games left, yeah. yeah. The guys that have, have time left, you know, that we'll, we'll, you know, probably roll some guys out there, see, see what we got. Good freshman group. You, you sort of insinuated that. Mm -hmm. Do you like this freshman yeah. group? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I, you know, um, I think, you know, guys like Christian Stokes, um, Raleigh Collins, we just mentioned, you know, who has played um, in some situations and, and more than what he's probably ready for. Uh, but that'll that'll pay off. Um, Sonny Redwood, exact, exact same, you know, situation. Trey Lathan, going to be a really, really good player. Um, you know, I look at, at – at, uh, I even look at Hershey. You know, Hershey's essentially – you know, a high school kid um, had one year of junior college. Take that kid again, probably being put in some situations that is, you know, that um, that he needs development to be really, really good at. Uh, and he will. Um, you know, just his body type, his athleticism. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, I think that I think it's a it's a uh, it's a really, really talented young group. Okay, anything else for Coach Leslie? Thanks, guys.